Okay, this is a similar question to chapter 5, exercise 3. Okay, first of all, write an application for Hyundai Automobile. And there are, okay, and the, this program determines the price of vehicle. So user, okay, user will choose a vehicle type. So if, it, if the vehicle is sedan, then press 1. Pickup truck, then press 2. And then if the vehicle is SUV, then press 3. All right, then once you select a vehicle type, then using if statement, we will set the values, you know, the price of the selected vehicle. So for sedan is $20,000, pickup truck $25,000, and SUV then $30,000. And if you enter, you know, different value like uh, instead of one two and three if you enter different number then it will display you know wrong uh invalid number or whatever and then set the price to zero because there's no price for others you know, other than these vehicles so let's try this one first and then i will save the file as Hyundai Auto, and then once we are we completed this, then let's try the second part. Okay, so this is an application, so public static void main string arc. All right, so from here, okay, we need the vehicle type. So why don't we make an integer for this vehicle type? Should I use type? Okay, type. So that's an integer. Let's make a zero as an initial value. And then what else do we need? Okay, and then let's get the input. System.out.print. So the input is enter one for then two for pickup truck three for SUV. All right. So so once an in, once you enter an integer uh, one one two or three, let's get the value. So the type. So type will be okay. So in order to get this one, we need to scanner scanner in that is equal to new. Create an object of this scanner input scanner scanner system dot in and the scanner is in. So if we need to import the scanner is in Java. Util scanner. Okay, so let's get using input. So the type is get input. So store it in type. So in dot next int. All right, so if you type one, so let's find out you know, which one you type. So you, let's use if statement, if type is equal to one, what do we do? Then the price, right? The price of the vehicle. So let's make price, integer, price. Let's make it zero. All right, if you selected one, then that is for sedan, right? For sedan. So let's set up the price equal to, what is the sedan price? 20,000. So you can make it 20,000 like this, or you can set a variable for 20,000. So let's make a final int sedan price. 
why don't we try seven? Try seven, that is 20,000. So since we have this one, also we can make it final int price pickup. So let's make it 25,000, right? Another one, final int price SUV. That was 30,000. So instead of using 2000, we can use this final value, which is price set down, right? So whenever you change the set on price, you can change it from here. Let's make it 30,000 or 2,000, you know, 20,000, 22,000, something like that. Okay, and what else do we need? I think we need to set up the price first and the else if the type is equal to 2. That means you selected what? Pickup truck, right? Pickup truck. So what's the price for pickup truck? So assign the pickup truck price. So that is price pickup. Okay, one more. Else if top is equal to three. If you selected the third one, then what? You selected SUV. So the price is equal to price SUV. So using this if statement, we, we set up the price for the vehicle. What else if there if you selected none of this? Then you then you got the invalid number, right? Invalid. So now let's make it price. Then you don't have to do anything. You can just can we just print out? System dot out dot print print element. Okay, you entered an invalid number. Okay, let's plug let's print out this. So then okay, we we know the price of each car so price of the car that you selected so finally we you can print out what okay you selected get the price you selected what 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 did you select it one right one so why don't we do this one okay how do you know whether the type is one two three so if it's type one then we, we need to put sedan right sedan so in this case why don't we make more variables final and uh big auto type auto Oh, sorry, auto. Uh, uh, let's make a string. Sorry, let's make a string in this case. Strings better. String auto type. Okay, auto type. So if you select it one, then what is auto type? Auto type will be set then, right? Uh, this is the first one is set then. And if you select it too, then the auto type will be uh, pickup truck, right? Pickup, pickup truck. Then the third type is, then auto type will be 
that then uh, this is SUV. Okay, so from here you can and you can write okay, you select it. Auto type. Can you see this? So auto type will have the string from one of these three. One of these three, right? Okay, and then price. Okay, the price is select it, you select it, set in or whatever. The price is, and the price is, what is the price? That's the price. Okay, so auto type. Why do I have this? No selling. Okay. So let's make a, let's initialize this as a, just a nothing. Okay, also touch nothing, right? Or uh, else. Okay, in this case, else. Mm, auto type will be invalid. Invalid auto. Okay, you selected invalid auto. So this more this makes more sense, right? All right, that is for this one. So let's run this. Okay, enter. Okay, let's enter one. So you select it, set then, and the price is this one. Okay, let's try more. Let's enter um, four. So four is invalid, right? Invalid. So you enter an invalid number and the price, okay, you select it invalid auto and the price is zero. Select it. Okay, I think that's it. You select it, okay, about this one. Uh, invalid auto. I think this will be this will be uh, good enough. All right, then let's try letter B. Okay, add a prompt to this one to ask the user to specify package. So there are two types of package. One is okay, one for prime, you know the uh, premium package. And the other one is just the basic package. For the basic package, you know, no additional fee will be you know, added. But if you if the user selects the premium package, then there will be two thousand dollars added to the auto price. So if the package type is invalid, then what do we do? You know, display an appropriate message and assume the price is for the vehicle with the basic package so just this one all right so instead of writing here let me just add it here because we're going to use the same thing so let's add it here all right so okay in before we display all this information why don't we get the user input for the package System dot out dot print uh, print is better. Okay, enter the package type. Okay, so for you to enter one for premium package. Two for basic. So I will get the result as package. So why don't we create declare an integer 
packets. Let's make a zero. Okay, so the package is package is equal to in dot next int. So if you enter one, then the package is one. If you enter two, then the package will be two. Do I have a PAC KH package? Right. So this is PAC KH. All right, so once we get this one, let's check using if statement. Well, should I use if statement? Well, if you enter invalid auto, okay, let's, this time let's use a switch statement, switch. Okay, in this case, you know, package is a keyword, sorry, it's a keyword, so why don't we use just use pack, pack, P-A-C-K, because package is a keyword. All right. And then let's use switch statement switch pack so if the package is case one if the package is one then what do we do then you select the premium package so the price will be added right added by what increased by the premium package amount so what's the premium package so why don't we make it as a final final in price package price package uh, let's use a premium instead of the premium so that is two thousand dollars so let's use this value you know this variable for the represent 2000 okay that's the price right okay case two if it is case two then what do we do then the price is just not okay and, and in this case we need to make a break right break okay for case two then we do we don't do anything right anything we don't do anything so just break it and then default if it's a uh, neither one and three then what then you enter incorrect invalid number invalid package so that is invalid so we need to write an invalid uh, okay let's make it let's create another one okay instead of integer type package okay type package oh sorry we already used uh, okay what did we get this one for this one that's pack right pack pack is the input So if none of this, then it's gotta be invalid. So if pack is not one and three, okay. I don't think we don't need we don't need this. Okay, let's just declare as zero. So type package. So type package. Uh, it, uh okay. String. We better to have string instead of this one. String. Sorry. It's got a string, right? String. Auto package. Auto package. Okay, let's make it no. Uh, invalid. Let's make it invalid as a initial value. Invalid. This one also invalid as an initial value. Okay, before we make a break you can set up the package with the auto package right auto package set the string auto package is what premium okay 
if you select it to then auto package will be basic and then none of these numbers then the auto package is invalid then what's the price the price is same as the basic the original price right so you can leave it like this so we got all the information so that we can print out here uh, and then we can you can also print out one more which is you know your package input is invalid okay the package type is valid just letting you know that you entered a wrong number and then you can put break or not you don't have to put break because this is the last statement so you will end you will exit the after this you will act after this you will exit the switch statement so from here let's print out the information okay so print ln you selected auto type and the price is uh before okay, how about the package and the package is the auto package right auto auto package so you will print out either one of these three and then the price plus comma and the price is price I think this is enough so let's check whether how it works so enter go okay, set then and then package let's put a premium then you select the sedan premium the price is 20,000 plus 2,000 so this is correct all right so let's put a dollar sign here okay let's try more example let's plug in uh, let's type this time two uh -oh, not this one here two is a sedan and then basic two then it should be 25,000 right mm -hmm. Okay, let's try more. Let's plug in a wrong, let's select the wrong number. Okay, let's try four here. So invalid and then package. Uh, package should be, okay, let's select premium. Uh, if you press premium, then it will be 2000, right? You will 2000. Uh, then uh, we need to write a statement for this. So if you select if if this is invalid then the premium package should be same as this one right all right so how can we put this mm. all right so why don't we put a if statement here so so the type if the type is none of this so if type type is not equal to one and type is not equal to two and type is not equal to three then do this Okay, does it make sense? So if none of this, then do this and then select this. 
Well, uh, no, because in that case, if nothing is, if if the auto type is none of this, then it doesn't have to select the this type, right? Nothing. So it will print out the package is. I think this is enough because we didn't add, you know, two thousand dollars or whatever. Okay, so let's select none of this. Okay, why do we have this one? Okay, let's select premium. Uh, this is not right. Let me double check. Okay, uh, let's make a if statement after this. So let me get rid of this. Get rid of this one. So what I'm gonna do after this, let's put an if statement. So I'm gonna check it here. So if the the auto type is none of this, the auto type is none of these three, you know, sedan, pickup truck, and SUV. Okay, none of this, then we will just make the price zero. Price zero. And then the premium. And then the premium will be in value, right? The, actually, the auto package should be also in value. Actually, auto package is, I think this is not important, so just let's just leave it. Okay, so something like this. Okay, so let's let's select none of this. So invalid number and then premium. So even you select this one, then the price was still zero because we set the price to zero, right? Instead of you know having you know instead of having this value. All right. So this one looks very similar to the question chapter five exercise number three. So what I did is first get the input from the user and then this variables comes from here. So whenever you need a variable, I just add it here. I just declare those variables here. So I used yeah, I used if statement to find and you know to find out you know, to set the values for each each vehicle type. So set the price and then the vehicle type. All right, after this, I'm gonna get the input from the user for the premium package or base package. And then I just use switch statement. You can use if it doesn't matter. So from this switch statement, we just declare, we just, you know, recalculated the price and then we set the name of this package. And then when you print this out, you know, if the first one, the auto type is invalid, then we will set the price to zero. Okay, so I hope you get this. So this one looks like this. Can you read it? All right, so the first part, the so scroll down, then this is the last part. Okay, I hope you, get, hope you get this, and then you can, I believe you can do this homework.